The American Civil Liberties Union, or ACLU, is suing the state of Arkansas over the newly drawn state maps for the state legislature. The ACLU says those new maps suppress the voice of black voters in Arkansas. And 5 News reporter Michael Wilson joins us live in studio with more. Micah, you reached out to the ACLU and the Arkansas Attorney General because she's named in this lawsuit, right? Hey, Erica, A.G. Rutledge, Governor Asa Hutchinson, and Arkansas Secretary of State John Thurston are all listed on this lawsuit because they are a part of the Arkansas Board of Apportionment, which is over redistricting House and Senate maps. One day before newly drawn House District maps go into effect, the ACLU of Arkansas, along with the state NAACP and the Public Policy Panel, announced they are suing the state, filing this lawsuit in an Arkansas U.S. District Court. The state legislative house maps severely underrepresent black Arkansans. By state law, the Board of Apportionment must redraw House and Senate maps every 10 years, but ACLU Executive Director Holly Dixon says the state could have done more to ensure black voters in Arkansas are fairly and equally represented. Their map had 11 majority black House districts out of 100. We noted that they could and should draw 16 majority black House districts. She says it's impacting black voters in central Arkansas, northeast and southeast Arkansas. Dixon says in northwest Arkansas, this is an issue too for Hispanic voters because they didn't use the correct population count for redistricting. They used a total population count and federal law that applies to the state of Arkansas says they should have used citizen voting age population. Saying a new majority minority district was not created in Northwest Arkansas. G. Rutledge's office responding to the lawsuit, sending five news this short statement saying, quote, the attorney general will review the lawsuit and respond as appropriate. Meanwhile, the ACLU calling the maps a violation of the Voting Rights Act of 1995. It denies black Arkansans the opportunity to elect their representatives of choice. She says the 2010 map was already problematic, but this new map weakens minority votes even more. So we're challenging the legality of that map and asking that the court uh, require the state of Arkansas to use maps that uh, allow for one person, one vote. Now, the ACLU says it's planning on filing an appeal with a temporary injunction as soon as possible. Erica. All right, Micah, thanks. Still ahead, has the